Derek Baker, thanks for coming back. We're going to talk about weight loss and menopause. Many women struggle with menopause. Uh, they struggle in many different ways. Weight also becomes an issue, especially after they've had you know one or several children. <coughs> Fatigue is a big problem. Uh, insomnia. Uh, there can be anxiety, hot flushes, reduced libido. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. If you if you're a lady watching this, going through the what we call the change, okay, or the the transition, uh, and you're really suffering bad, go and see a functional medicine doctor or a naturopathic doctor with experience and get this test done. It's called the Dutch test, okay? Dry urine test comprehensive hormones because it will actually do a really good job of, of mapping out all of your sex hormones and stress hormones all in one report for the doctor to look at. This needs fixing up. Many women lack estrogen. Many women also lack sufficient testosterone, and that can create a big problem with um, libido, uh, cognition, mood, uh, logic or ability to think properly, memory loss. All these things can come about with poor testosterone levels. So, but what can you eat for menopause weight loss? That's the question. I get sidetracked, see? So, well, it's more a question of what should I not eat? Let's talk about that first. What you should not eat really if you're trying to lose weight is you shouldn't consume alcohol now this is a big issue for many women going through menopause is alcohol consumption is high calories all right very high calories so the more you drink the bigger you'll get one good big glass of, of white wine is equivalent to a double cheeseburger all right so just remember that there's a lot of calories in wine Look what you're snacking on, what you're nibbling on. You may need to look at different types of food structures, uh, different types of diets, different types of foods if you're really going for sweet stuff all the time. Are you eating regularly? That's a key thing that I really ask many women, uh, menopausal women. Are you having breakfast, lunch and dinner at regular times? And many times they're not because they're rushed off their feet still with teenagers or they're doing things. All right? So good foods to eat, in my opinion, are just plain old healthy foods. Vegetables, fruits, lean meats. There's no rocket science to this, all right? We just did some videos on sweet potato, uh, talking about how good they are for weight loss, for example. But many foods are good for weight loss, providing you just eat with common sense, and, you know, a high degree of common sense. You'll know what the wrong kind of foods are. They'll be the takeaway foods. They'll be the processed foods deep fried or embalmed foods, they're not really good, are they? Those are the sort of foods that you probably want to avoid. But I tell you a big thing with menopause is you want to get your adrenal function checked out, especially if you're fatigued, because if you're tired, you could be going for sugar a lot more than you should. All right. So if you are going for sweet stuff, B vitamins and chromium will help as supplements. But more than anything, uh, get the adrenal salivary levels checked, the salivary, uh, salivary test for hormones, and particularly cortisol needs testing. Because as those ovaries start reducing function through the menopause, the adrenal glands have to kick up, and so does the thyroid. And if nutrition is not good, or that's not sorted, it creates fatigue, and then you get poor sloppy eating patterns like alcohol, sugar, takeaway, candy bars, ice cream, those sorts of things. And of course, the weight starts piling on. And as a woman gets 50s, 60s and gets bigger, piles on more weight, she becomes far less motivated to do anything about it. And, you know, it's a downward spiral from there, isn't it? So if you don't want to go there in the first place, try and get this menopausal thing sorted. You know, the hormones have a massive impact on influencing your uh, nutritional behavior. And that's a key thing I want you to get out of this video. Thanks for tuning in. By the way, click on the link below to get my free 17-page Candida shopping list. It's a beauty. Thanks for tuning in.